Hi, my name is Dr. Antonio Webb. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas. If you are suffering from neck and or radiating pain down to your arms or to your fingers, well, in this video, I wanted to talk to you about a condition called cervical stenosis. If we break the word down, cervical is the top portion of your spine. You have your cervical vertebrae, thoracic vertebrae, your lumbar, and then bones that are in your sacrum and in your pelvis. Stenosis means tightening. If you think of tightening like a clogged artery or a clogged pipe, well, in the cervical spine, cervical stenosis is essentially tightening of the spinal cord and or nerves. Cervical stenosis is very common. This can be caused by a number of different things, but most commonly by disc herniations and also bone spurs. As we age, the discs in the spine start to degenerate. The discs lose their water content and then they desiccate and turn black. This is called disc degeneration disease. Well, as a part of this aging process, the disc can actually push on the nerves and or the spinal cord and can cause a number of different symptoms ranging from neck pain to arm pain to radiating pain that goes down to your fingers. In addition, if this becomes very severe, some patients may present with what's called cervical myelopathy, which is a dysfunction of the cervical spine in the neck. These patients usually present with loss of balance, gait abnormalities, increased clumsiness in their hands or fingers, and or bladder or bowel incontinence. For most patients who see me with cervical stenosis, we generally treat this starting off conservatively with physical therapy, anti-inflammatories, and then epidural steroid injections. When all of these conservative measures fail, then this is when we discuss any surgical options. There are a couple different ways to manage cervical stenosis. One, you can go anterior to the neck and to the anterior portion of the spine, or the traditional posterior cervical approach. There are risks, benefit, pros, and cons to going anterior to the cervical spine versus going posterior. Once you have been deemed that you are a surgical candidate, then we will meet together in my office to go over a surgical plan. During this evaluation, I will thoroughly explain your cervical images and explain what you can expect before surgery, during surgery, and also after surgery. Cervical stenosis is a very common cervical condition. This can lead to neck pain, it can lead to radiating pain down to your arm or to your fingers, or some patients present with weakness. When all conservative measures fail, then this is when we discuss any surgical options. If you've been told that you have cervical stenosis and or you have neck pain in addition to radiating pain down to your arm or to your fingers with weakness, this is an indication to come in to get evaluated. My name is Dr. Antonio Webb. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas, and thank you for watching.